Hello friends and enemies. Welcome to or welcome back to Have for Now. This is the quick reads for the 24 hour readathon. If you are struggling with what you should read this weekend, if you're participating or if you just want a quick read one day, this is the video for you. I have got a selection of options. All of these are books that I generally have devoured within 24 hours or less and aren't super long <laughs> because that's a caveat. Also we're debuting the new hair although it's not styled or anything like I've got it thrown up in space buns because of course I do <laughs> but um we chopped it I hope you can see we oh please please stop took some length off of it and you know what I'm already obsessed I'm really excited to style it uh some more here but today was a throw it up day <laughs> so here we are but it's still space buns cute so I'm happy and uh color is getting refreshed next month for um steamy lit so if you're watching this real time you can see how washed out and bad my blonde is my bleach um but yeah i'm here with some quick recs for you and then we'll talk about the 24-ish a little bit at the end okay so these are gonna be books you've heard me talk about a lot probably but if you still haven't picked them up this is the perfect readathon for it because honestly you could read a lot of these in a 24-hour shower period here comes millie <laughs> So first up, we're going to talk about one of my favorite novella series that I read the new release pretty quickly usually after it comes out, and that is the Holly Knight series by Lee Jacot. I'm going to highlight my three favorites, but all of these are really quick holiday themed novellas. So they've had like Valentine's Day and Halloween, Christmas, have we had Christmas? Yes, we've had um, St. Patrick's Day, like we've had it all. They just did Mother's Day. For the newest release so like listen these are good so i think these are fun they're quick they're steamy they pack enough plot and smut for me to be thrilled with them that's generally what i'm looking for in novellas my personal favorites are the four leaf which was the first one i read and adored this one follows childhood best friends not my favorite trope like super not my favorite trope but childhood best friends to lovers with primal play yeah with primal play. Uh, then we also have Cupid's Peak, which is a hockey player and a uh, high school tutor, his high school tutor, their romance. They've always had a thing for each other and never acted on it. They go on a blind date for Valentine's Day and lo and behold, things heat up from there. This one has a nice like voyeurism element to it that I really enjoyed. And then we have Hollow's Grove, which is basically Clue but sexy. <laughs> Uh, and that is the best friend's brother and they hate each other's guts but boy do they have some good sex so there's that series if you somehow haven't read these I I you need to correct it immediately because I feel like you're missing out on a really fun series and then <laughs> the next recommendation is my babies my loves the books that have routinely kept me up until three in the morning when I finish them like you think I'd learned my lesson not to start these books at night no I have not I have not learned my lesson. I'm very bad at following through on this. And that is the Carolina Comets. This is Tegan Hunter's hockey series. I started backwards. I started with the neutral zone and then I read Glove Save and then I circled back around to Puck Shy and worked my way forward till I finished the series just recently. I think that these are really fun because they're very quick reads. Even when they're over 300 pages, they read so fast. There's a lot of text exchanges, which helps speed up the reading. And I think that they're just very engaging books at the end of the day, even if you don't love one, like one timer, not my favorite tropes. It's a one night stand and accidental pregnancy. I still had a good time with it. Like that's skill that I still also stayed up late reading that book and had a good time with it. If you want, um, I'm not going to give you all the tropes, but I'll highlight my favorites. So Puck Shy is the road trip one. She is driving home, picks up a hitchhiker, turns out it's a famous hockey player. She does not know this and it's like a horror girl and he also loves horror and it's their relationship's really cute. They also re-meet on a dating app and then she finds out it's him. That's kind of like the crux of the position. It's not quite catfishing, but it's interesting. Uh, Rhodes in Blind Pass has the big scar on his face and I'm in love with him. Uh, he and an influencer end up together, accidentally married in Vegas, <laughs> and have to pretend they're married for a year straight, and a lot of things unfold. This one's very emotional. Then we have Glove Save, which, or no, then we have Scoring Chance, which has our virgin hero, older woman, younger man, here for that. Um, just love it so much, so much. <laughs> this was so fun. Very uh, fun to watch this hero get his love. Uh, find his love and like lose his virginity. It was a fun time. 
Also, Cinnamon Hot Roll, Golden Retriever vibes, while also being pretty dirty talker for being a virgin. Then we had... Then I love Glove Save as well. <laughs> I'm basically listening to the whole series. Uh, Glove Save is a grumpy hero and a sunshine single mom, kind of, and her daughter basically ends up getting him to help her learn how to be a goalie, and he trains her privately, and it just kind of goes from there. It's a very sweet, very cute. And then the neutral zone <laughs> is one of my other favorites. That is our very shy introverted hero who likes to do things like, not puzzles, he's like a very at home guy, like he keeps himself. All of these men have very soft characteristics while also being like kind of alpha, which I think is part of my appeal to the series. They feel very multidimensional and on par with the men I know in my life at the very least. Like one of them puzzles, one of them like colors. It's just a whole thing and it's really freaking sweet and I love so much of it, so much of it. So yeah, if you want something quick, snappy with good banter, Good sex, right here. Carolina Comets, dive in. Join me. Join me, <laughs> please. Uh, next, we have the Criminal Intention series. So I've only read one book in this series, and I actually put the second one on my spinner reel, which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, for this series. These are really quick audiobooks or novellas on KU. It is a massive series. Book one is called The Cardigans. It has seasons. This is going to be for people who want a really good tr thriller situation. Also investigates some of the issues with policing like it still feels a cab like i don't know how to describe it for being a thriller detective book it still feels a cab uh really gory definitely check your content warnings on the series but i do feel like book one ripped me through that story so fast i feel like i started it and then the next thing i know i was done and i was like oh crap how am i already done so i am taking my time reading it because i'm waiting for all the audios to release but they're so good and i actually hopefully will be picking up the second one in the series this month and then just kind of like do one a month, one or two a month until all the audios are out. All right, and then last we have one of my all-time favorite authors who I feel like I wreck all the time, but again, if you somehow haven't picked her up, what are you doing? And that's Christine C. Jones. I find most of her books I finish in one sitting or less and just don't want to put them down, so I just don't think you can go wrong, you know? So for Christine C. Jones, I would say maybe next time if you want a darker romance, this is where the husband kidnaps his wife because she asked for a divorce. <laughs> And they have to talk through their problems. A big, big content warning here for infertility issues and miscarriage. That is a lot of their problems currently that they're working through, but it is so good. Very much a like, you're my wife and you're not leaving me vibes and I'm going to fix this. And I am a sucker for that. Who isn't? Who isn't a sucker for that? Then we have the Love Sisters, which follow three sisters <laughs> on a hilarious journey to find love. I really liked the series. I read the series second because it interconnects with the Wright Brothers, which is the first one I read by Christina C. Jones. And I don't think you can go wrong with either of these as a starting point if you want a more contemporary rom-com situation. The first book in uh, the Wright Brothers, the first book, Getting School, is a TA who, uh, and a grad student, and he's like an army vet. And I thought she captured this so well. I was very happy and thrilled to read it. And then also the first book in The Love Sisters, she walks into an apartment that she's going to be staying at that her sister owns and there's someone else there and she like knees him in the nuts. And then lo and behold, she has to work with him. It is so funny. Both of these have laugh out loud moments and also again are just a good time. They make you swoon a little like they have just the right mix of the rom-com thing you're promised but doesn't always deliver. I feel like these have that. All right. So that is my recs for the 24 hour readathon or if you're looking for something to read and i just want to give you a quick update so if you're watching this on thursday when it drops tomorrow night we'll kick off the 24 ish and i have linked below for you if you want it a spreadsheet that may mostly designed i made some changes and i'm sharing my version of it but may designed this over at this past romance she did a great job i'm really proud of her but i added like some changes and then i'm going to pop up the screen right here these are all the books i have saved right now for my spinner wheel I'm doing. If you have a book you would like to see me read during the 24 hour readathon and you're watching this video before the 24 ends, let me know in the comments. I will add it to the spinner wheel. That's all. That's all I got for you. If you made it this far, give me a clock emoji. And if you don't want to do that, let me know what you're reading this weekend for the 24 ish and if you're participating or, or if you have a favorite quick read that you love to recommend to people. I'm always looking for them. I think it's a good time. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's it for today's video and I will see y'all tomorrow night if you're watching this in real time. If not, I'll see y'all soon. Bye. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. 
Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited.